Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zathar Gardens. I'm going to give you an update on my moringas I have. I had four moringas. One was right over here. And then here's one. Another one. And another one. So I have two moringas left that really did well. These are about, this is almost three years old. And that is his first year in the ground. I was really impressed with this tree so I kept it but I removed one that died off in the summer so I wasn't too sure what happened with this one but I dug it out and I removed another one that did die back in the summer but started growing back but I didn't uh, trust it enough to let it go another year and here are the root systems as some of it's still on the ground it's really heavy and dense uh, it smells just like horseradish exactly like horseradish so I'm gonna see what I can do with these uh, roots to see if I can ingest them or dry them make them into tea I have heard that this could be not that healthy to uh, ingest too much of so I have to watch or be careful and here's Lulu no you can't eat it Lulu so the point of these four moringas were that it, when the afternoon sun comes in the summer the sunset it's really hot in this lawn area for my son and my dog to play in so I wanted four moringas to provide afternoon shade so I replaced two of the moringas with a tree that I've been going back and forth with a pear I just heard too many issues with people having disease problem or blight issues with pears so I never planted them but now I bought them I bought some bare roots at a Home Depot they look great and I love how vigorous they are they just go straight up that's exactly what I want I'm not gonna grow them like my other trees where they're open in the center the peach open in the center the apples are open in the center even though it's supposed to be a modified leader but you can do whatever you want you don't have to listen to anybody if you want to do it a certain way do it so back to the pears like I said I do love how they grow vertically like that you see that that's what I want I want a really tall tree 10 plus feet tall to provide afternoon shade when you're planting new bare root trees you have to prune off at least a third of all branches and if there's too much branches like over here where I have one two three four five six seven eight that's too many if it all grows out there's gonna be no sunlight or air movement through the tree you'll have to prune down to about five branches to create enough room for everything to grow healthy and also something else you want to look at is if there's any broken branches like you see right here broken if you see anything broken like that just remove it immediately nice healthy cambium layer okay just a quick recap you want to prune down a third which would be for this long branch right here which would be right there that's where I'm going to be pruning it and look for any broken branches and remove them completely. All right, everyone. Let's see how these pears do. Happy gardening. Bye. Okay, like, share, subscribe, and and thanks for watching, everyone.